Hello everyone and welcome back to The Little Blue Fly. Today I will be sharing two DIYs that I will be using for my fireplace mantle decorating for this Christmas. I started off with a gold liquid leaf that I purchased from Michaels and I will be putting just a single layer on the unfinished metal. Now when you use this liquid medium, it's very, very strong. So it's always best to go outdoors when painting with this. So as you can see, I finished gold gilding the complete calendar and I went ahead and painted over the numbers and I'll just be adding new sticker de decals to the front of it. Now here what I'm doing is adding an antiquing glaze medium on the top and just patting it off with a tissue paper. It's important that you pat when you do this process. Don't rub it off because then it'll show it'll take it'll take it off and it'll leave a long streak and depending on how dark you want it that's how thick you apply it you can go over it two three times it's really all to your liking. So I did purchase this at Michael's, but I know, well, the Michael's in our town, they have it on clearance, so they're no longer going to be carrying it. So maybe it can be purchased online, or I don't know if the company has just decided to discontinue the brand altogether. I surely hope not, because I enjoy using it. We're almost finished.
And here it is finished. I added the stickers, some burlap bags from Hobby Lobby, and a Mackenzie Child's ribbon bow. Now I'll fill them with goodies for the girls. On my next project, I will be doing a Christmas bulb toporary. This bulb I purchased from New River Pottery. And the Santa came from Hobby Lobby. And the Red Cardinal from Hobby Lobby as well. And the three napkin rings came from Hobby Lobby. And various greenery. I purchased that greenery from TJ Maxx. Now I'm going to be placing it on top of my antique oil lamp. That's a pine garland that can be purchased from Hobby Lobby. And I just sort of just wrap it around. When you put your bulbs on, really take a look at where it's centered and that it's level. Otherwise your topiary will go up crooked and we don't want that. I just love that Santa, he's so cute. Now I went ahead and pre-made this ring because I realized it's easier just to wire it versus doing all the gluing. Should have done that earlier. I just thought that sweet birdie would look cute on top of Santa's head. He looks cozy, that's for sure. Now I'm just going to add various berries and pine cones and just really Fill it in to my liking. And here we go, all finished. And I'll be adding a ribbon down at the bottom. There it is. That was a very fun project. Now here is the mantle. I have my four foot Christmas tree that was purchased from Lowe's on top. And then a greenery swag up front that was purchased from Costco. And the wreath from TJ Maxx. That will be coming down though. Just for a moment while I decorate and then I'll place it back up. 
I did add a set of twinkling, twinkling lights from Walmart because it was a pre-lit tree. So my first step was to place the ribbon and then we added three Bethlehem stars. We put one on the tree and we hung two from the ceiling. Actually my husband did. That is Mackenzie Child's check ribbon and then behind it is a six inch wide uh, green felt ribbon. and that was purchased from a local florist shop. I dovetailed the ends. And to the swag below, I added a pine garland and two pine cones at the ends of the swag. And then placed ribbons. The gold ribbon came from Hobby Lobby. It was clearance last year for $2.50 a roll. Next, I added in, it's a green leaf filler that I purchased, actually not green, excuse me, it's gold, that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. It was very, very popular this year too. All the other colors were, were still there, but the gold, the ladies were really loving that this year, so that was very hard to come by. I placed the wreath back on. I put berry clusters that came from New River Pottery and the birds from Hobby Lobby and the large gold ornament that came from the local pottery store as well. The large gold bulbs that came from the local pottery store, New River Pottery. And the plaid bulbs came from there as well. And the little gold spiky balls, those came from Hobby Lobby. Up at top, I added all my ornaments came from Hobby Lobby this year. I purchased nutcrackers and then a variety of other different bulbs of shape and color. I add my first lamp up on top. And now my second. Then I placed in my topiary.
I also added a Nutcracker and my Mackenzie Childs train that is underneath the cloche. And then a bowl of pine cones with dried fruit. And then down below, the calendar. Oh, Lord.